Oh, I tried filming like the other way, but I, I just like sitting like this and just talking to the camera like this. So yeah, let's get it. But yeah, I want to hop on here and just talk about like being able to put yourself into these like, hard situations, continuing from like the video yesterday. Like just like yesterday, I think, yeah, yesterday morning, I just woke up and finally ready, like finally settling in here and everything like kind of opened up, like finally I'm going to be able to power through everything I need to get going. And like I just got to adopt this like stoic mindset, like how to live in peace, right? How to find peace from within, right? I'm reading, reading a lot of like philosophy books now. I'm reading the Daily Stoic. I'm actually reading the New Testament as well. I want to read the Bible as well, but that's just for, for another time. But I've been doing a little bit of experience, like, because I have a lot of clutter in my life, especially when I cook, you know? So I've been trying now just to have one utility or one like utensils, right? One fork, one knife, one spoon, right? One dish, one bowl, and one glass, you know? One cup for coffee. And I've been doing it now for three weeks. And this, is, this just has completely changed my life, man. I'm not, I'm not even joking, man. This is how it has completely changed my life because always when I want to eat something, I have to clean it, right? So rather than me always having to clean it and then eat, I just eat, then clean, right? So this is this is built up like a good habit for me. Yeah, but, and I've, I have been telling people from this from a, like so many years, man. Just simp simple it down, man. As soon as you simple it down, there's no mess. Because you just clean up after yourself and you're done, right? So try simplifying things and cut off distractions. Doing the dishes is a distraction, but yeah. <laughs> That's a good lesson, man. But yeah, like, how to live in peace. Just, uh, just, just being able to find out what's taking the most time, What's giving you the most like rewards, like reward ratio? Like just being able to optimize your own life, being able to look in the mirror and see like, okay, I need to change this and this and this, and then they're starting it down and being able to actually do it, to perform. Just sit in silence and think, right? Just try simplifying things and just sit in silence. Just take a two, two or three days off. Do your ink guide test, whatever, you know, I have to do mine again, but I'm feeling more and more like confident in my content creation, right? I just gotta figure out like my, my path, like for the, for the content, but I'm figuring out like, as I go, like people need more, the world need more, needs more like, alpha males, right, you know. So I might even like, just start documenting a more, a little bit more about like my life, uh, like how I train, what I eat, and like I want to start doing a little bit of fighting. I did some boxing before, but I've like gone to one more tight practice or something. I ha I'm not a big kicker, but I can box, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna check that out, I'm gonna go to more tie this yeah, next week. Actually, met some Russian here from here, and he's gonna spar with me a little bit. So hopefully, I can take you guys there. It's gonna be fun. But yeah, like improving focus, remove clutter. It's a pretty good one, right? But my two sets for the day uh, is learn how to be alone and learn how to sit in silence and think. That's my two cents for the day. I'm not gonna post tomorrow. Tomorrow is my day off. I'm just gonna take the whole day off. But I'm gonna write down some content ideas and try to get better every day, right? For you guys and for myself, right? So I'm just gonna be documenting my life, documenting my journey, documenting my brands. And let's go. Cut it out.